Hello, uh, this is Sunil Sundaraj from njvarsity.rivals.com. I'm happy to welcome in Dave McCarthy, owner of the McCarthy Report, a premier guide on New Jersey high school football prospects around for, since 1991, going on 30 years. Congratulations, Dave. It is absolutely an honor and privilege to speak with you. Uh, Sunil, thank you for those kind words. Thanks for having me. Good to Can see you. you. Can you believe 30 years? I mean, just starting out, you know, in 1991, and I know this is deeply personal to you, uh, mm -hmm. Dave, you know, especially because your, your father, you know, said uh, Dennis ran it for 20 years, I believe. Um, and it's a, it's really a family uh, owned, you know, said business. I believe your brother Ryan also mm -hmm. contributing. Can you just uh, speak to that, uh, Dave? Sure. Sure. So no. Yeah. Um, yeah, started uh, definitely starts with my dad. Um, basically, started it late '80s, early '90s from his uh, from his little uh, kitchen uh, uh, from his kitchen in, in in his apartment in North Arlington. That's where he lived for many years, and um, just started from there. You know, just little by little, and it grew. It, and it, it, you know, it grew into uh, where you know coaches and, and college programs all all over, all over the country. Um, contact us for information. So it's yeah. uh, started in our kitchen and um, my dad, me and my dad, you know, early nineties, late eighties, early nineties, he, he would, um, he would um, uh, send out handwritten lists, you know, this before the internet um, mm -hmm. really took off a uh, uh, handwritten list of the top New Jersey prospects. So yeah. eventually college got it, got a, you know, colleges liked his work, got a following and, um, took off from there in the early nineties and haven't looked back since. So. Yeah. I mean, life was so different yeah. back then, Dave, yeah. you know, as you said, yeah. you know, technology, I mean, it was, what we have today is just re revolutionary. I mean, nothing compared, I mean, to back then is everything you written, you typed up. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. a Absolutely. typewriter, I mean, can you talk about it? Just like, you know, be able to, you know, uh, you know, scout these players and, you know, yeah. just what, what it was like back then, you know, cause a lot of people, you know, don't know mm -hmm. that, you know, it's, just, uh, yeah, I could, yeah, no, I, I understand it's like ancient history, you know, for, <laughs> for some people and, you know, I'm definitely, um, you know, uh, uh, could understand that. Um, yeah, it was um, basically uh, the, the biggest, um, the biggest uh, re revelation has been um, huddle, you know, where, where you can yeah. see 99% of, of prospects uh, yeah. highlights. So in the old days doing this, you know, pre huddle, you know, early 2000s and, and earlier, um, we would literally have to uh, physically either, you know, go to a school and look, look at the um, game tapes, game DVDs from, yeah. you know, from the, uh, or, you know, from the coaches, you know, we, we would, me and my dad would do that many, many, a uh, many a uh, trip all over the state gathering, uh, gathering game tapes or, or having them sent to us, you know, so yeah. in a variety of ways. And we also for a long time uh, filmed games ourselves. Okay. So, you know, it was, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of legwork, you know, just to, you know, be able to see um, what is, you know, what you could do very easily now just by, you know, doing a search. And um, that, that, that's been a big difference, you know, but yeah, it, it, it was, uh, it was a lot of, it was very labor intensive back, you know, back um, before the internet was really big. So. Yeah. I mean, you talk about back then. Newspaper, just, looking just, up. Like, the DVDs and, uh, you yeah. know, the equipment you had to, you know, mm -hmm. said use back then. Now here, like, yeah. you know, instantly, as you said, either using Huddle or you have a cell phone, mm -hmm. you're able to capture so much on video and then yeah. um, be able to, <clears throat> you know, instantly, you know, just use that, you know, as a guide, you know, to, you know, yeah. as far as evaluating talent. Um, how, I mean, mm -hmm. how was the game? I mean, high school football yeah. has changed so much, you know, over the years, Dave. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, can you talk about, I mean, just, you know, the, the players, the coaches back yeah. then, like, you know, through the 90s, yeah. through the 2000s. Yeah. Now, I mean, yeah. of course, I mean, just if you can describe that. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. You know, going back to the uh, to the old time, you know, for <laughs> me, 70s and, you know, 80s, I, yeah. I, went to, I went to high school in the 80s. Yeah. And um, during that time, um, the, the, the big difference, especially in North Jersey, because, like, you know, look, we're going to focus on, on, we'll focus on your, your you know, yeah. coverage areas, yeah. mostly North Jersey. So yeah. the, the big difference with North Jersey is how, you know, for the last decade or, or, you know, 15 years or so, it's so, um, the, the big Catholic schools, you know, the big powerhouse Catholic schools, everybody yeah. knows, the Bergen Catholics, Don Bosco's, St. Joe's, you know, St. Peter's, Paramus Catholics, 
it's, you know, a prep. Um, yeah. Those school, it, it, it's really, you know, the, those are the, um, so, you know, clearly, you know, with, or, or is, it's really top heavy with, with, with those schools, you know, yeah. that, that's the big difference, you know, in the 70s and 80s, uh, uh, more uh, public schools could compete with those schools, you mm -hmm. know, but now it's really, you know, they're, 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 they're like college programs, you know, for the yeah. most part, they're just so good. And, you know, right, rightfully so, they have the most talent every year, they just reload every year. And that's been the biggest, that's been, you know, the main difference that I see how it's so, you know, it, it basically in North Jersey, it's the, you know, six or seven, uh, you know, big, big um, non-public schools, you know, mm -hmm. and then, then everybody else. That's, yeah. Although, you know, there are, you know, uh, um, you know, but that's not a, you know, re revelation to anybody, but, uh, and, but there are, you know, there are a lot of good, really good, you know, public uh, school programs, which, you know, which I follow. No. In North Jersey. So. Let's try yeah, that, that's the big oh. difference is that the, those big non-public schools are such powerhouses, you know, yeah. in the last 15 to 20 years. I mean, you're talking about the legendary coaches that yeah. have come through there, you know, with uh, Greg Toll, you know, Fred Stengel, Tony Karsich, mm -hmm. I mean. Absolutely, you know, I absolutely, mean, yep. And now you talk even, uh, of course, uh, John McKenna, DePaul Catholic, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, Rich Hansen, St. Peter's Prep. I mean, just to yeah. see, uh, and now, of course, I mean, not forgetting, uh, you know, even Dan Sapello, you know, Vito Campanelli. I mean, mm -hmm, <laughs> and mm -hmm. now even going back, I mean, yeah. even though he's only been a couple of years removed from the Burn Catholic program, but, uh, you know, Nuncio yeah. Campanelli, I mean, what he Nuncio was at Rutgers. Mm -hmm. Also, I mean, right. it is just truly astounding to see. Uh, <clears throat> and then Augie Hoffman, I mean, the, the list mm -hmm. goes yeah. on, Dave, like right. see, uh, how many mm -hmm. coaches have yeah. uh, had the level of success and impact yeah. on these, uh, these non-public schools. Yeah. The, the non-publics. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, what, what it is, it's just a great combination of some really top notch coaching plus the talent they get. Yeah. So, you know, they're, they're, they reload every year. You know, yeah. uh, uh, John, you know, Coach McKenna at DePaul is, is leaving the program in really good hands with, yeah. with uh, Nick, Nick yeah. Campanile. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, they just, those schools just reload every year. You know, they, they have such a, you know, so many, their, you know, their backups could, could, you know, really star it at, yeah. at a lot of, you know, a lot of um, public schools, you know, around North Jersey. So, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. And, and um, uh, 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 Rich Hansen is leaving the, uh, the St. Peter's program in, in great yeah. hands with, with his son who's coached with him for years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah, it's uh, the coaching level is really, uh, it's really, um, it's a some tremendous coaching, you know, so, yeah. you know, and, and it's, it's become a, Another difference, like we touched on before, another difference is it, it's a uh, 24 seven, basically, you yeah. know, it, it's basically a, a year round, mm -hmm. you know, uh, um, you know, to be, to win at that level, at that high level, so, you know, uh, you have to really put in the time year round, you know, those, those, those programs win in the off season, you know, in the weight room, in the off yeah. season, in the work, off season workouts and, you know, February, March, April, so. That's, that's so, when those programs yeah. No, talking to players, you know, yeah. and I'm sure you have as well. I mean, you may end the season in November and December, Dave, but, you know, yeah. a couple weeks later, you're right back in the weight room. Exactly. And, yeah. uh, you're training, you know, getting prepared, and then you're talking about through the spring, and then, of course, when you hit – by the time you hit the summer, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's right. constant. It's, yeah. it's early January now. I'm sure some of those schools are – right after the holidays, I'm sure some of those schools are starting their – all season programs are ready, yeah. you know, so it's, it's keeping up with the competition and that's a, no, that's another big difference, you know, how it's so year round and everything. So, yeah. Yeah. And, um, what, uh, yeah, the, 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 the level, the, the, I'm very impressed with the, uh, you know, and, and, and we could play with the, you know, those North Jersey schools could play with anybody in the country uh, as they've proven, you know, year after year, you know, they're, they're nationally mm -hmm. known programs and they, yeah. they send, send kids all over the country. So. Yeah, no, well, that's that's mm -hmm. true. I had to ask yeah. you, Dave, that you yeah. know, with the pandemic in 2020, yeah. we got to see quite a few schools from Central and South Jersey come up to North Jersey mm -hmm. uh, and you know play each other. That, I think that was yeah. really great to see yeah. because the level of talent down there we forget. And you know, last yeah. year I was able to cover uh, for the first time uh, championship games at SHI Stadium, you know, on the mm -hmm. Rutgers University, and see quite a few teams. I mean, you talk about players going division one, you know, yeah. division two or division three. Uh, can you talk about how, how uh, good that was to see that? And, you know, again, these yeah. schools, I mean, we, we saw 
you were there at the William Burrow, you know, Ram Poe game. Uh, one of the best games of the year went right down to the wire. Um, Terrific. Yeah. 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 It's good to say. I love those. Uh, I, I call them like how they call them in college football, in, intersectional matchups. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The schools from different regions playing each other, you know, and um, I love it. I, I, I want to see more. Uh, I, I hope they schedule, uh, you know, in the coming years, more, more of that. You know, it's really fun to me to see. Like you said, Willing Burrow, Ramapo was a great game, went down to the wire. Um, I know uh, Cherokee came up and played, uh, I guess, St. Joe's, St. Uh, Joe's Regional, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, Len- Lenape or Cherokee um, yeah. came up and played uh, played them really tough. So that 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 really um, that really impressed me, you know, the public school um, being able to compete with uh, St. Joe's, you know, one of the big uh, powerhouses up here. So, uh, yeah, I, I want to see more of it, you know. Um, yeah, South Jersey has, like, cover the whole state you know, for, for, for my report and um, South Jersey has some really fine uh, uh, public programs, especially. So. Yeah. That's what I wanted to ask you, Dave, yeah. can you just uh, go into your process? You know, I wanted to really yeah. dive into that with, you know, the McCarthy report, uh, just mm-hmm. how everything, you know, you know, transpires, you know, I said before the season, you know, kicks off and then during the season, yeah. can you just walk, you know, everyone through that, uh, you know, I said uh, mm-hmm. you know, how it works out the, for those sure. couple of months there. Yeah, sure. Sure. So no. Yeah. Uh, for me, um, you know, just like with the uh, programs, yeah. um, it's pretty much a year round, a year round deal for me. Um, okay. It's just because there's so many schools, there's almost 350 who play high school football in New Jersey. I try to keep an eye on all of them. You know, I don't, I don't want to miss any prospects, even at the smaller schools. So um, I'm doing this year round, you know, I mean, I love it. It's a late, like I said, it's a labor of love, yeah. I'm not getting rich off it, but um, <laughs> I do do it year round. And um, um, uh, it's just a lot of work. It, it, it basically, it's just putting the work and putting it, putting the time in. And my process is just, you know, uh, do- doggedly go through, you know, each team's roster and just, just come up, you know, kids who look interesting, you know, I'll, I'll reach out to the coaches or, you know, DM a kid on Twitter, which Twitter's and uh, social media makes it, yeah. like we were speaking about, uh, mm-hmm. social media makes it easier nowadays, you know, to, to contact the kids. How did so, that work out, Dave? Just yeah. to interject, yeah. but like with players, you know, how did that work out before oh, <laughs> social it, media? It was, again, oh, again, yeah. you know, th- this, yeah, with so- social media, yeah. you know, for all its faults, yeah. uh, Twitter, um, Twitter is what I use the most. Um, yeah. Uh, when I, I, I'll contact kids to get information, the, the, yeah. the direct message is so easy. Be, before I would have to, you know, make phone calls, you know, yeah. or we would, we would physically send out um, questionnaires in the mail, you mm-hmm. know, so in the snail mail. So yeah. um, it just, this basically just saves time. Uh, the, you know, if you saw my direct, you know, my, my, in my DM, uh, uh, it's filled with, you know, hundreds and hundreds of kids. So, uh, but it's, it's a, va- it's an invaluable resource for us. Um, it just really, uh, Twitter for me, uh, social media saves a lot of time. So yeah, it really expedites resource. that yeah. process. That, that's a big difference too, yeah. you know, from, from 15, 20 years ago. So yeah, yeah but my, 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 my process is just hard work. You know, it just, there's, there is no substitute for hard work. Um, it's just, you know, beating the bushes, finding kids. I, I talk to a lot of high school coaches around the state or direct message with them and, mm-hmm. Um, then, uh, and basically it's just doing a lot of research and, and looking at tons of, uh, tons of tape. So yeah, I was looking at tape earlier, you know, for hours today and, you know, it's just, it's just basically hard work to, to make sure you, you know, you, 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 you uncover all these kids because there's a lot out there and you have to look at, you know, just about every, every school in the state. Yeah. I mean, you just talk about, uh, and then watching these kids, you know, in person, you know, I said playing on the, I mean, what is that like for you, Dave, to, you know, see that, that, that talent there up close and personal? Yeah. Yeah. There, 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 there's no, um, there was no substitute for seeing, seeing a kid in person, you know, uh, uh, with your own eyes in person, you know, you get a feel for them and, you know, their physical, you know, physicality and, um, you know, just, uh, and I, I, I like to meet the kids, you know, could kind of, you know, see, you know, you know, when a kid looked me in the eye, you know, and, yeah. and um, get a good feel for, you know, a kid, you know, how a kid is and how, you know, the type of, you know, person he is. So, yeah, it, it's, um, I try to, speaking about the COVID, um, yeah. you know, I, um, on a, a normal year, I try to get to, you know, I, I really get around the state. I see, you know, in a normal year, I'll, I'll see, oh, I'll get to easily over 30 games. 
upward of four, upwards of 40 games. But uh, th this year was cut short. That, that was a big, you know, speaking about the COVID season here. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, um, uh, I only got to about 16 or 17. So, you know, although I still, you know, went around the state, but you know, it was, I saw about ha half the games that I would normally see. In person, mm -hmm. so, you know, yeah. It, it was difficult. It was I mean, just, a, it was just yeah. a situation, you know, with, you know, yeah. just with, you know, with such a, it was shortened season. The season was shortened by a month and, you know, some schools only played a few games. So, you know, I, but I, I, I did manage to see a lot, but not, not, not as many as normal in normal years. So that was a yeah. big difference. That's why I had to ask you, Dave, with yeah. the limited amount of games, mm -hmm. I mean, to truly get, you know, I said, yeah. into like, you know, on a, uh, on a player's talent level, like, you know, what they could do. Uh, I'm wondering how, how challenging that was, you know, uh, can you just talk about that? Yeah. Um, well, of course, you know, when, when, um, a lot of kids only played, you know, if they were lucky, played about four or five, six games, you know. Um, and we were lucky here in New Jersey. Some states, New, New York State didn't play this fall. You know, Connecticut didn't play this fall. A lot of states didn't play um, yeah. this fall. So um, I'm happy that they, m most of the kids were able to at least play several games. But, yeah, it, it, it's definitely um, – you definitely have to account for that, you know, when in your, in your, you know, when you're scouting and everything and – uh, yeah, it, it, you know, normally a kid would play, you know, 10, 11 games, but um, 9, 10, 11 games, but it, it was, you know, it was the, um, it was the, uh, we had to play with the cards that we were dealt, you know, so, yeah. so mo mo most kids handle it well, you know, and um, to a be able to have a, you know, relatively, you know, normal season under the, under the circumstances, you know, I'm glad for the seniors, you know, most had a, uh, you know, somewhat normal year where they, you know, got yeah. in several games. So. I can ask I, you how, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. how the talent pool was this year, yeah. you know, if, uh, again, with the, yeah. the limited schedule, what yeah. your, your take it's on it was. The, yeah. The, the sheer, the raw talent is terrific. I mean, yeah. you know, year in, year out in New Jersey, we're easily top 10 in the yeah. country, uh, uh, high school football, you know, talent wise, yeah. you know, um, easily maybe, you know, a lot of years, I'm going to say six or seven, somewhere around there, you know, for, for our uh, nine, eight, eight and a half, nine million people, we really punch, you know, way above our, our weight class, you know, in, in terms of talent. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you know, it was, you know, it was the, we were, we were dealt a, um, you know, a, a, a tough hand, but, you know, we, we uh, came through. Sure, but, you yeah. know, and at least m most of the kids to show colleges. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, um, I mean, yeah, I, the, the talent level is as good as, you know, as good as ever, you know, so. Yeah. But, you know, That's what I'm saying. Uh, Arrow yeah. Dave talks about California, Texas, Florida, yeah. and, you know, I, right. I had to ask you about it now, like, to see New Jersey on the map, and, uh, yeah. you know, again, the players that are coming out of Varis State, and, and what's great now, of course, uh, had to get your uh, take on is that, you know, with Greg Schiano uh, back at yeah. Rutgers, to see the uh, number of players staying, you know, home and attending Rutgers, uh, just what your uh, uh, opinion is on that. Just, you know, again. Yeah. Yeah. No, they, they did a good job uh, uh, starting last, um, you know, last uh, win winter when they, um, when they got here. Um, I think they're, uh, I think this 21, you know, recruiting class is really strong for them. I think that bodes well, you know, to compete, to be able yeah. to, com to compete in the big 10. Um, I think the class, um, you know, uh, stacks up really well with some other very good classes that, you know, coach Chiano has, over the year, I know that, the, uh, well, you know, previously went to his first, uh, his first, um, you know, go round here, uh, the Ray Rice class, you know, Ray, Ray Rice really, you know, really propelled that program, getting, getting, getting him. And, but I, I like, I like the, you know, they, they, um, I like the uh, group that they have the last two years and uh, that bodes well. The, the, the talent level is, is definitely uh, rising. And I think you're going to, you know, they, they were competitive this year and, um, you know, you saw that right away, you know, first game of the, of the uh, COVID shortened season for them. Mm -hmm. And um, I expect them to, you know, to compete, you know, for bowl games coming up and to compete for, uh, you know, certainly for, uh, for a, um, you know, bid in that title game, you know, in the, in the big 10 title game. I, I could, I could see that within, you know, a couple of seasons. I, I, I think they're on that trajectory, you know, to at least be in the, in the, in the conversation. You yeah. Know, so no, I agree. I think I think they could. You know, Co Coach Ciano has a proven is a proven winner on the college level, and um, I think certainly uh, uh, they're going to challenge. You know, in, in the future. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. As I mentioned before, I think yeah. it's really 
so vital, you know, that uh, Coach Yano has brought, you know, high school coaches onto his staff. As I said, you know, mm-hmm. Nunzio Campanelli, Augie Hoffman. It's yeah. just really good to see that, you know, that you know, I think then when the these players, they're trying to decide, look, where are we going to go? I think now they have more of an incentive to stay home, yeah. uh, uh, Dave. Yeah, uh, certainly the, the, the top New Jersey kids are at least giving Rutgers a, a, a real, um, you know, a, a real look, a, a real look, legit look, and um, they're going to get their share of top kids. You know, I think it started already, and um, you know, uh, 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 right. The, the the they have a very good staff who who know who, who knows the state inside out. Many are New Jersey natives, and um, really know this. Like Nunzio, I know very well. Augie Hoffman, I know re- really well. Fran Brown really recruits South Jersey. Uh, well, he picked off a several good kids there in the last yeah. two years. So, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're uh, you know, I definitely think the arrow's pointing up with, with the Rutgers program, you know, and um, starts with, with recruiting. So, yeah, no, you know, definitely. So, yep. You know, not everyone goes Division One, yeah. Dave, you know, Division Two, II, Division Three, And I think, you know, you still, you've mm-hmm. seen a lot of players from the state go on yeah. to have, you know, great success, uh, you know, at the college level. And then you've even seen, you know, players, even move up to the next level in the NFL. I, I wanted to ask you then, you know, just yeah. further elaborating on that is that, you know, we, we always talk about, uh, you know, athletics, but it also we talk about academics. So these are student athletes as well. They have to excel. And I've talked to a lot of players, you know, who have done very well and been able to balance that out. Um, you know, you talked about a character, you know, of, of a player, of a kid, you know, that's, that's equally important. Yeah. Oh, you know, I tell kids all the time, um, you know, it's my mantra, um, the better, you, the higher your GPA, the more, um, it just opens more doors with colleges, you know, yeah. the, the, you, get, you get that GPA up, it, it just, it, the whole, uh, your whole university of schools who could, who could look at you just grows, you know, yeah. so, you know, there's only for kids with, you know, lousy academics, you know, there's just not that many, not, there's not that many you know, avenues to, to go, you know, yeah. so besides like a junior college kind of thing, but, That's but, um, yeah, no, you, 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 it's really, really important. I stress this to all kids and, you know, um, even the top recruits who are having, you know, who have, you know, multiple, multiple, you know, big time offers, you still, you know, need to qualify. So, yeah. you know, but yeah, the, the, the higher, you know, any prospect watching this, um, the higher your GPA, the more schools who could look at you and recruit you. So yeah, it's vital. It's vital. Yep. Cause we're, you know, it's, it's college, you know, these kids are getting to college. So, you know, yeah, they, I know. I you know, know, so it's not, it's not, you know, pro ball where you, where you don't have to worry about school, but you know, yeah. it is college we're, we're talking about. So it's important. It's vital. Yeah. So, no, I, I mean, if people talk about the rigors of high school, but once you get yeah. into college, it's a it really, it, it, the intensity gets, you know, ramp, yeah. you know, ratcheted up so much. Um, oh, yeah. It's time management. You, yeah. you have to, you know, it's a very, um, uh, you have to manage your time well, you know, to be able to get your schoolwork in and still, you know, get all your football responsibilities. In. Yeah. So even, even smaller schools, you know, to the, to the big powerhouse, you know, B1 programs, you have to manage your time. And, and, you know, every year, there, uh, nothing, nothing um, you know, upsets me more than seeing good, really kids who are good players who just don't have the academics to get recruited, you know. So, yeah. see it every year. And, you know, um, it is what it is. And, um, but, yeah, it's just ha- heartbreaking to see really good players who could definitely play at a high level in college just just are not recruited and, and it, 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 many times it's because of, uh, you know, subpar academics. So, yeah. so I tell the kids work on that now, you know, as, as much, you got to work on that as much as your, um, you know, uh, 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 your, you know, athletic uh, side of things, work yeah. on those books, hit, hit those books. Yeah. So. I, I wanted to ask yep. you dealing with the colleges, uh, universities, <laughs> if you can, you yeah. know, just uh, speak to that, Dave, you know, communicating with them, you know, mm-hmm. uh, as far yeah. as that's uh, concerned. Oh yeah. I'm constantly in contact, you know, yeah. uh, many, many schools around the country, you know, probably it varies by year, you know, we have upwards of 60, you know, sometimes more um, colleges around the country who subscribe, to, you know, we're, we're, we're subscriber based, um, service, you know, scouting service, we call ourselves. And, um, you know, we have to 
certify with the NCAA and go through certification every year. I have to fill out the forms. And, mm -hmm. and so we're um, every year we have to do that. And um, we're subscriber based, you know, schools contact us and um, you know, for, for uh, a fee, you know, we, um, we provide them with, uh, you know, year round information yeah. on the top Jersey kids. So yeah, I'm constantly speaking to coaches. You know, I, I, I like to, you know, keep the schools, you know, confidential, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, no, I understand. But, you know, it, it's the schools, every, you know, everybody is, all the uh, viewers have, have heard of, you know, so mm -hmm. from the big boys to the, you know, to the D, D3 level. So, yeah. you know, and, and some junior colleges. So, um, but yeah, around the nation. So all the major conferences. That yeah, must be really cool. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. you'll be able to spread it out all around the country, uh, David. It is, yeah, yeah. no, uh, all, all, all over. The, I mean, all, yeah. almost, you know, yeah. most, you know, uh, uh, many, um, certainly all over the country. Yeah, you know, because they, the good thing about, New, you know, New Jersey is a good reputation. Like we said, it's yeah. clearly, clearly top 10 talent wise, you know, uh, 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 like I said, sometimes five, six, seven, somewhere around there, you know, after the, Florida, California, Texas is, yeah. you know, Ohio is very strong. The uh, state of Georgia is very strong. Louisiana, you know, a bunch of other states are good. You know, no, Pennsylvania is mm -hmm. traditionally a, a high school football hotbed. But um, we're right up there, five, six, seven every year, something like that. So. I, I think what's yeah, great is, yeah. is the publicity and, and the notoriety. Uh, a lot of these coaches willing to, to play schools from different states, you know, that happened. Of course, this past yeah. year was different, but... Uh, mm -hmm. You know, to see games, you know, on ESPN, Fox, Sports One. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean that that really to as far as you know the profile, the you know of, of schooling and you know, being able to gain that attention, I think is you know it helps out. You know, I said as far as uh, the yeah. coverage is concerned, and just you know highlighting the the, the key players as well. Uh, yeah, know, on the field. Yeah, it's as big as ever. Yeah, ESPN plays a large part in that. You know, pushing high school football around the country. I, I watched. But, you know, several games from, from out of state, you know, yeah. Arizona games, you know, California games to see what's out there. And yeah. it's interesting, you know, and it's great. They, they do a good job covering, you know, nationwide and, and then with New Jersey, you know, we have a good reputation. We've, you know, for years now we've, we've competed with some of the top schools and, and, you know, men, our schools have gotten many victories against out of state powers, yeah. you know, so, and that, that pretty much started, um, as far as I know, it started a uh, uh, coach toll started uh when he was at uh when he took over don bosco uh, mm -hmm. really started playing a lot of out-of-state yeah. schools and then the other schools followed suit and um you know and uh really it, 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 to me it, it's a it's a great thing you know really um kids love it traveling around the country it's an experience you know, to another part of the country it's a great experience it's a great experience so, yeah different yeah. atmosphere different yeah. people the way they live and uh, that's why i talked to a bunch of yeah. players i mean because uh you see that uh you, you play uh even the public schools, you, know, you go out to yep. Pennsylvania, you go out to Ohio, yep. and it, which is yep. really good. I think even, um, what was it? Uh, one of the, I think it might've been Bergen Catholic uh, went down, mm -hmm. uh, one of the schools went down to Louisiana and it just, yeah. it, it was really good to see that. Like uh, Florida also as well. Florida, California. Yeah, California, I mean, they're playing all over. I, I would love to just yeah. see, you know, Dave, a uh, team go to Texas. That's what I Texas, <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to, yeah, I don't think we've done that yet. I don't but, think uh, we've done that. Texas. Be, yeah, that no, be, you know. I mean, it's like, I mean, Friday night yeah, lights. Yeah, Friday night lights and, you know, Texas is, you know, Look, te Texas is legit, you know, and yeah. everybody knows it's, <laughs> it's the best, or if not the best, it's, yeah. you know, one, one, one of the top two or three. So, yep, it's, that'll be fun. Yeah, I'm trying to think if, uh, yeah, off the top of my head, I don't, I do not think yeah. we, uh, New, New, Jer uh, New Jersey school has played um, out in Texas yet, but yeah. we've played just about every other region, yeah. you know, even U Utah. Utah, I think, No, yeah. uh, 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 Midwest, I know, um, what was it, Canton, Ohio? Somebody played, and he, the the good uh, the, the the cool thing with the New Jersey schools, even um the publics are getting in any the, uh, the publics are playing some yeah. of it in, in a normal season. You know, of course not 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 twenty twenty. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, all those games were um you know were um canceled this year. You know, with the travel you know travel yeah. ban and everything. But but yeah, but um it's good to see the um even the publics uh, traveling and playing playing other schools from other other states. And what's great is that in past years with the championship games now going, of course, 
Mm-hmm. You can only hit the sectional championship games with the regionals mm-hmm. now. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. You know, you have schools from different areas, you know, playing each other. I mean, I have to ask you about that playing at MetLife yeah. Stadium. Of course, you know, before that giant stadium and then mm-hmm. um, even then, of course, now at, uh, at Rutgers University. Yeah. How great of an experience that is for the players. You know, again, they're sure. on a bigger stage there, you know, being able to perform in front of, you know, again, uh, uh, prospective colleges and universities, yeah. Uh, Dave. Yeah, no, it, it's got to be a great, you know, I, I, when I was in school in the 80s, you know, I didn't have that, that I wasn't um, fortunate enough to play, you know, uh, for, <laughs> well, I, I think at that, at that, in, at that point, it, they were playing at the, you know, high, at the high school venues, yeah. you know, the um, higher seated teams, but, um, yeah. oh, it's got to be a great experience, you know, it was, it was a blast seeing my, my hometown team in uh, 2019 make it to the Giants Stadium game for, I guess it was the group two um, North Jersey title. Yeah. Uh, Lynnhurst, my hometown team where I went to school, um, okay. had a great season in 2019, and they, they played a phenomenal Verona team, you know, in, uh, at, at MetLife, so that was a real big yeah. thrill for those kids that they'll never forget, you know, yeah. so, um, but, um, yeah, it's got to be a great thrill, you know, it's, and it's a great showcase, you know, I know a lot of college coaches, you know, uh, um, uh, check the games out, I believe. And, um, so, uh, uh, and also the Rutgers games are great. I, I actually prefer to get, you know, as many games at Rutgers as possible, you know, so plus it's a good selling point for the Rutgers program. So it's, just, it's such a nice facility there. You know, they had and, games uh, at Kane yeah. university as well. Kane, like, you know, I like Kane, Kane, Kane. That was really good. You I know? enjoy Kane, you know, yeah. Kane is very convenient yeah. for me. I'm only about 20 minutes or so from Kane. Yeah. So, yeah. um, I, I, I think the Kane Stadium is terrific. And um, yeah, yeah, I saw some great games there over the years. I believe uh, the Paul St. Joe's a few years ago was a wild, wild finish. Um, yeah. So there's been some great, uh, yeah, great games there. So yeah, I, I love it. And um, I know South Jersey that they, they played at Rowan, uh, 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 which, have, which has a nice, nice, nice yeah. field there. And um, so I know college, in the past, College of New Jersey, which is a very nice stadium too. And um, I guess it's in Ewing. Um, yeah. So yeah, no, it's good. I, I you know, I, I enjoy it. I look forward to it. I'm look for, looking forward to it ne- next year. So yeah. Hey, you know, you've seen a bunch of players again go to yeah. uh, within the New Jersey Athletic Conference. You said you know yeah. Rowan, you know TCNJ. I mean you, yeah. you know up here yeah. north you have Montclair State and William mm-hmm. Patterson. A bunch of players you know sure. said uh, decide yeah. to attend those schools and you know play football as well, which is yeah. you know uh, really great to see. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, there's only so many slots open yeah. for the scholarship schools, you know, yeah. and, and those get filled up, you know, there's only so, you know, if a kid, maybe he's not a, a scholarship level kid, but he still wants to play ball, like like myself, I wound up playing, um, I, I walked on um, to, um, I was like a, what they would have called a today, a, a preferred walk on to Northeastern, mm-hmm. which, is a, which was a one double A at the time in the late 80s, and then uh, I eventually played at William Patterson, so, you oh, know, okay. I, I just loved it, you know, I, I Loved uh, playing and it was a great experience. Coach uh, Jerry Gallagher was my coach there at William Patterson for the year and a half I was there. And um, uh, it was just a great experience. You know, met, met, and a lot of the my teammates or coaches now around the state. So it was a great experience, but yeah. Yeah, I, I look, there's only so many scholarship slots open, you know, and this year is even crazier with the, there's a real log jam, which I t- tell people mm-hmm. because of the, NCAA, um, uh, 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 the kids who played this year, uh, the, the um, season isn't going to count for their eligibility. So there's not, not that many slots open. So there's going to be some really good, um, some really quality level athletes going, dropping down to the Division Two and Division Three level for sure. Mm-hmm. So, because there's just not that many, not going to be many scholarship slots open at the, at the big schools. So, yeah. It's That's the uh, for, yeah. um, just have another one or two. I can't thank you enough uh, for the time, yeah. Dave. Uh, I'm wondering, you played the game of football, and uh, you know, of course, now uh, scouting the game as well. Yeah. Um, what what uh, makes uh, the game of football so special, uh, uh, Dave? Great question. Um, you know, I, I you know, it's like, um, wow, it's uh, you know, for me, it's just the excitement. You know, um, um, you can feel that you're adrenaline. You know, rush. I, I still get excited when, when I'm yeah. going to cover a game. You know, yeah. I, you know, a big game or something. I, I you know, you can feel the um, the adrenaline uh, uh, coursing through my veins. And um, yeah, no, it's just you know, it's just a, uh, it's such a to me, it's just such a. It, what makes football so great? It's just a combination of you know the strategy, 
you know, the um, work ethic you have to, you know, do to, to succeed and just the athleticism, you know, it's just football to me has the co- combination. Oh, I, I, I love, you know, most sports, but football yeah. to me just um, really has, it's the combination of, of everything with that, that goes into, you know, in, into a football game, you know, so the sights, the sounds, the smells, you know. Yeah, and, that's what I was going to ask know. you is that so every season so you look cool, forward you know, to that, Dave. <laughs> it's kind of hard to put your finger on it, but it's kind of yeah. like a combination of a lot of different I know. Know, th- emotions that, that really make football, you know, from to me, you know, the best, so best game. So. Hey, you know what, actually, yeah. talking to, uh, you know, Jake Guy from Don Bosco Prep, it's, yeah. it's a team game. Great lineman. It's a great team lineman game. For, it's not Bosco. one person. He was saying that it's right, you know, in right. basketball, you have, it could pin yeah. it on one guy, but basketball, yeah. Right. Everybody, I mean, in football, it's everybody's got to be on the same page and together. That, that's great what it point. Takes, yeah. Great, great True point. Brotherhood, it, it's, you know. it's the ultimate team game. It's yeah. the ultimate team. You know, that's the thing. It's you got to really work as 11 guys, you know, yeah. 22 guys to, um, you know, right. Uh, it's the team. It's the ultimate team game, you know, so, so much go and so much goes into so many moving parts, you know, go into having a successful program. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 you know, it's our modern day version of, you know, like the, you know, you know, the, uh, I don't know, what, what do you, you know, uh, uh, Roman Coliseum, you know, the, yeah. the you know, it's, uh, um, you know, it's just so, oh man, it's hard to put your finger on it, but it's just so, um, such a unique, you know, to me, it's just a, such a unique sport. So. Yeah. You know, and what's really great, Dave, is that not only we've had so many classic movies about high school football made, mm-hmm. but also documentaries. Oh, yeah. We've had mm-hmm. a lot of doc- I recently there was some a documentary, I believe, on the Camden. You know, I said uh, football team. I think on Fox Sports One, which is great to see that yeah. um, that that coverage is like you know to see you know high school football put on that you know mm-hmm. on that uh, level. Sure. And that, that's really you know sure that's sure. Yeah. yeah yeah. Well, you know, and, and the. the beauty of it is especially in like Camden where I, I know all those guys there and um, yeah I'm de- I, I have not I've heard about that documentary I'm yeah. definitely gonna have to check it out yeah. uh, soon um, yeah you know it, it's a way out in in, in you know in um, in uh, uh, you know areas like that you know uh, uh, inner city areas mm-hmm. it's definitely a, a, a way out of you know uh, getting a scholarship you know to yeah. play football or, or basketball or whatever you know whatever sport um you know, it's just a great way out and, um, you know, it's just a great opportunity, yeah. you know, to, to, it's life could be life changing, you know, so yeah, you know, it's just, yeah. mm-hmm. I have to ask you, Dave, is yeah. that so many people, they, they write, they cover, they take video, you know, you sent me, you have writers, videographers, but I, I think, you know, is I, we've seen scouting plays such a, again, a, is so mm-hmm. essential and, yeah. you know, plays that, you know, critical role. I mean, to see the level of success you've been able to have for 30 years. I, mm-hmm. I just, you know, I'm curious that um, I think it's a great opportunity for people to get into. Can you talk about like just some of the, uh, you know, the positive, I mean, just of what you've been able to do and that, you know, yeah. I'm sure that a lot of people, you know, be uh, willing to, you know, maybe even, yeah. you know, get into this line of work as well. Right, right. Well, you know, it's definitely labor of love and, you know, we, we started as a hobby, you know, yeah. and then kind of grew from there. So. But yeah, no, I, I love it. I always, ever since I was little, I always loved um, kind of the scouting, you know, scouting personnel, you know, going by. I've always, since I was a little kid, was always into the NFL draft, yeah. that kind of stuff. You know, I just, for me, I always wanted, you know, I, I didn't want to coach so much, uh, but I, I wanted to, you know, uh, I just love um, scouting personnel, you know, and evaluating talent is what we do. So. Yeah, it's, um, I, it's a great career. Look, you know, you got, you know, definitely, it's not for everybody, you know, and, um, you know, you definitely have to have some, some instincts, you know, I think I've, I've, um, honed my instincts over the years, you know, and just, you know, to try to, what we're trying to do is project what, you know, which, which kids are going to succeed in college, you know? So, so yeah, but I, I, Hey, look, I love it. You know, <laughs> the more the merrier and, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's really fun. Yeah. You know, I, um, like I said, I, I love doing that. I love doing what I do and, um, and um, I love to try to project, you know, what kids are going to succeed, you know, be, turn out to be great college players. You know, and sometimes I'm surprised, you know, uh, uh, maybe a kid I didn't think that highly of turns out to be a great college player. It happens. So, but uh, yeah, it, it, it's a, uh, it's definitely a, um, 
it's a, uh, um, sometimes it's a crapshoot, you know, so, you know, as to, you know, which kids succeed in college. You try to make educated guesses. So. And fo final question, David, can't forget about family. I, I know we talked about it earlier, but uh, just the support you received your, from your family yeah. here uh, for, uh, you know, the past 30 years here, you know, running the McCarthy report. Oh, sure. Could, could, could not, you know, can't do it without them. You know, again, I started with my dad, you know, yeah. um, who started up as a hobby after he, um, he was a, uh, basically a student assistant, a student recruiting assistant at Notre Dame in the early sixties coaches under uh, Joe Kaharick and later the great Aaron Porsegan. Um, then he, you know, after uh, school, you know, he went about his life. And then in the, later in the eighties, he, he kind of started as a hobby, but yeah, started with that and then grew, you know, my brother, you know, was involved for years and you know, he still, you know, helps out sometimes. And my wife, uh, 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 you know, couldn't do it without her and, you know, my whole family. My mom, you know, it's definitely, uh, uh, um, and then, you know, we have our scouts who help out, you know, a longtime friend of mine, Mike Foza, I want to give him a, give him a plug, you know, he helps out a lot and, um, he's been with us for years and, um, he knows his stuff and another, uh, one of my guys who, one of my friends helped scout, uh, Cedric Brown, Hackensack guy, um, mm -hmm. who, uh, knows, knows his stuff, really knowledgeable football. He played football at Rutgers, was a, uh, 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 linebacker, fullback. So played under, uh, he was, uh, in fact, he was part of Coach Chiano's first uh, recruiting class in 2000. So, and then there's many other, you know, people I know who definitely lend a hand. And so it's, it's definitely, um, it's definitely a, uh, you know, it takes a village as they say, you know, <laughs> it, 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 you know yeah. it's, um, couldn't do it without the support of my family and friends. That's great. Absolutely. Hey, Dave, it's been uh, an absolute honor and privilege, uh, you know, speaking with you. Uh, just, uh, I mean, just an incredible job you've done these past 30 years and, uh, you know, wishing you nothing but continued uh, success here. Thank you, Sunil. I appreciate it greatly. Thanks for having me and let, let's do it again soon. Let's, you know, the uh, eight months from now with the uh, high school season coming up, looking forward to it. So Sounds good. <laughs> let, Thanks. let's hope it's uh, back to normal. 2021. So thanks, Dave. All right. Thank you, Sunil.